So hi people, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm doing a different video today and I'm just gonna talk about contact lenses, okay? If you're wondering, the contact lenses that I've got in today are called Sky Grey. As you know, people that have subscribed, these are one of my favorite contact lenses. Anywho, so contact lenses, like I think it's gonna be a top five. Number five things about contact lenses, they are difficult to put in. So if you are like starting out, then you're gonna struggle with putting contact lenses out in. I struggled with putting contact lenses in the first time that I did it. It was a huge struggle. I still can't put contact lenses in using the tip of my finger here. I just can't do that. No way. Um, the way I put contact lenses in when I haven't got my applicator, because I seem to have lost the applicator, is I put them on the tip of my nail here and then I go like that. I'm going to do a video on how to do that because it's really useful if you have got long nails. Now my nails are not long, I don't keep them long because I need to be able to type for work. But um, if you've got long nails then it's really useful to just use this as use the tip of your nail as the applicator. It really works and the same method to take them out with, the, with a Q-tip or a, um, like an ear cleaner or whatever. That, that helps take them out. So that's the number five. What happens if you leave your contact lenses in overnight? Now, I haven't done it before, but I do know a story of somebody who did do it and ended up in hospital for two days. Um, so you really do need to make sure that you remove your contact lenses um, at night. I, I have, I remove my contact lenses as soon as I get into the house without fail because I can feel them so I know that they're in my eyes so I will remove them as soon as I get in. Um, what's the thing? Oh funny story, there was this lady, she had I think it was 27 contact lenses behind her eyes for years, she didn't even know about it, she just thought it was a headache, she just thought she was experiencing headaches and um, yeah they found them behind her eyes so yeah they can go behind your eyes. Um, number three, I've just touched on that point. Can contact lenses go behind your eyes? Yes, but very rarely. Um, have I experienced it? No. What I have experienced is looking in the car rear view mirror and going, what the fuck's my contact lens? <laughs> and it's been like up here or down here or somewhere. It's moved away from my, from my ball. But in that situation, all you want to do is just move here and just, just shift it back into place. But that's only happened on a few occasions. It's not something that happens on a Rex. And I think it's something, if there's a fault with the contact lens or it's sort of stretched or something, it's not clinging to your eyes. So it does happen. Um, but it's pretty painless. It's not a huge biggie. Touch wood. <laughs> I haven't had a missing contact lens because that was my biggest fear about using contact lenses. Um, what is my number two? Oh, number two is, does it matter which way you put the contact lens in your eye? Like if it's inside out or if it's not inside out, it matters because it's not gonna cause you, if you have them the wrong way around, it's not gonna cause you a great deal of pain. It's not, sorry, it's not gonna cause you problems it's just going to be very uncomfortable it's going to feel like you've got a bit of sand or grit in your eye so it's like literally you you know you, you won't be able to wear the contact lens without it being right around the wrong right way so you'll have you'll put it in your eye and then you'll have to take it out because you're like there's something wrong then you know you just flip it inside out so don't worry too much about is it round the wrong way you'll know if it's round the wrong way because you'll feel it and then as soon as you um poke it round and tip it round the right way and it's not painless then you'll know that you've got it in completely right so um yeah that's the top tip there um so it, it matters and it doesn't matter because you will correct it yourself my number one tip uh for contact lenses is the reason i wear contact lenses or well, the, the initial reason was i just wanted to try it out i really just wanted to try it out then as soon as I put them in my eye, I realised that my eyes had stopped watering. This eye really waters and I can feel that it's watering a little bit right now, okay? Um, hay fever or allergies or whatever, I'm not sure, right? But it waters all the time. So when I didn't 
wear contact lenses, I'd be put on makeup on and it'd be looking fine as far as I was concerned. And the next thing you know, I'd be rubbing my eyes and I'd have like a patch here where I'd rubbed off all the makeup. So this bit would be perfectly fine and this bit would just be looking horrific. So I noticed that with the contact lenses, it stopped my eyes watering. So that is why if I'm going out or going to work and I'm doing my eye makeup, I always wear contact lenses because my eyes do not water. I mean, yes, they do water a little bit, but not to the point where literally if I have false eyelashes on, it, I just couldn't get it to stick because it would be watering so much. It was pointless even doing that. So if you're suffering from watery eyes, then I suggest, yeah, definitely try and contact lenses and let me know how it works because I've tried everything. I've tried dry eye drops, I've tried antihistamine, I've tried putting Vaseline in the corner of my eye to create a barrier, I've tried cold uh, compresses, no, hot compresses because apparently you have to, I don't know, you have to melt something, can you, I don't know, but I've tried all sorts of things and the only thing that's worked for me is contact lenses. Now, if you don't want to wear coloured contact lenses like me then you can get clear ones I don't know where you get clear ones from and I'm not really interested in where you get clear ones from because I like the coloured ones but if you want to wear clear ones I'm sure you can get a prescription free clear contact I'm sure you can you know I'm sure you can or just get a prescription <laughs> I don't know but yeah um so yeah that, that that's it, that works for me. So that was just my top five of what I've learned about contact lenses. The